so a new AI tool has just become available for the public to use, and this new tool takes AI to a place that we've never seen before. The website is called websim.ai, and the idea is by entering whatever URL you can think of, this new tool will completely generate a website for you based on your URL. And at the moment, there are some seriously incredible examples that they have up for display, some that would take a web developer months to create. So how good really is this new infinite internet? Let's take a look into this. So this publicly available website is websim.ai, and the general idea of this website is that using artificial intelligence you can generate any website that you want to see. So on screen now is the website itself, and you'll see at the top just as if it were Google there is a URL bar where it says what would you like to create today. And once you click up to this bar you are presented with the option of choosing models. You have the choices of Sonnet 3.5 which is currently the best model out, GPT 4.0 which it says is experimental and then you have some of the older anthropic models Haiku, Sonnet 3 and Opus, but the default for this use is Sonnet 3.5. So let's have a look at some of the demos that are on this website. The top demo at the moment is a Minecraft inspired 3D environment game, and on screen now will be gameplay of me just testing it out a little bit. It's essentially just a Minecraft clone that isn't made to the highest degree of quality, but then you remember that this game has been completely generated in real time on this website by a user user typing in minecraft.net, the AI managed to create this fully functional game based on what it thought the user wanted to see. And then here's another example, this one being called 4D Musical Spheres with a Ripple Effect. And although again you wouldn't exactly see this on Steam and rush to get your wallet to buy it, when you keep in mind that this is completely artificially generated and it's displaying a good form of gravity in this game, it really does make it quite impressive. You have these notches here to increase the strength of the gravity and another one here to increase the spawn rate of the spheres falling down from the sky. Although I wouldn't keep this one on for too long as I had it on for a few minutes and it starts to go a bit mad. And then one more example here for you before we try and generate some of our own sites and see what we get. This one here is called a 3D Taurus Viewer, and I won't say it all again, but it's the same story as the last two sites. Very impressive to just be created by an AI. And it is worth noting that this tool is actually not brand new, it's been out for a few months now, but the thing that really brings it to the spotlight now is the fact that Claude 3.5 Sonnet has been implemented onto the website, a model which is showing very impressive gains on the previous best of the best. Best, GPT 4.0, and these gains in quality are definitely transferring onto the website, allowing us to generate higher quality websites. And on this one there's not exactly loads you can do, but you can change the colour, the roughness and the scale and, and sort of just manipulate the torus to how you want it to look. And you can also change the shapes. And just before we try and generate some of our own sites here, let's just talk about this in a wider scope. Over the past few months especially we've seen loads of uses for AI generation, especially Especially with the spotlight being on areas such as art and song creation, with Udio completely changing the game making incredibly high quality songs, but this new WebSim AI takes a different approach to things, trying to see how artificial intelligence would generate the internet if given the chance, and I think this is one of those tools that people could have a lot of fun using, as whatever comes to their imagination they can have generated into a website. And this website is free to use, so you can visit this site right now and generate whatever you feel like seeing. This tool is essentially essentially an infinite internet, just in case you run out of content on the actual internet, which I'm not sure how you'd manage, but it's new and it's interesting and that's all that matters. So let's actually try and generate our own website here, just to give you a little demonstration of it working. So using Sonnet 3.5, I'm going to try and generate a website, and let's say I'm really enthusiastic about black and red sports cars. I'll just type that into the URL of a .NET and see what we get. And it is worth noting that since this is running on Sonnet 3.5, it is quite quick. And there we go, just like that. The clip will be cut for the video, but I think I literally waited maybe 15 or 20 seconds at the most, and I now have an entire website for me about black and red sports cars. They've even got images and model names. And here it seems like the AI thought that I wanted a website to buy cars, so they've got a fake address for the showroom, a fake phone number, and a fake email. At least I assume it's fake, you never know, someone might have it. And let me just do one more for you here. Let's say you desperately want to become a millionaire 
billionaire? Well, the only logical solution is to go to websim.ai and type into the URL bar howtobecomeamillionaire.com. And then again, after waiting about 15 seconds, I have a website telling me how to become a millionaire. And this navigation bar at the top isn't just for show, it does actually take you to the part of the page it says it will. Like if I click on the resources tab, I'll be taken down to the exclusive resources part of the website. So a very impressive tool here, which I definitely recommend you go and try. But that's all for this video. So if you're still listening, I really appreciate you. Like and subscribe if you can. It really helps me out. And thanks for watching.